Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see this great box of grenadiers from Anvil Industry. A huge thanks to Anvil Industry for sponsoring the channel this month and sending out this awesome box of grenadiers for me to take a look at and share with you. Now these have been remastered and scaled to fit with their regiment range. And so if you haven't seen these before, take a look at their website. The link will be in the description below. But let's get it open. And in this video, I'll go through all the box contents and get the models built so you can have a real close look. Now the first thing you're going to be greeted with are these great postcards and these really show off some of the models from not just the Grenadiers but that regiment range. They've got some real cool models in the range and they're 28mm heroic scale so they're going to fit with loads of different war games and here you can see they're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube so you can check them out there. I love this image here on the postcard showing off their Space Western Posse, really cool. And I've got two of these that I'm using in my Astra Militarum as some proxies as well so you'll see those on the channel in future videos for sure. But some great images really setting the scene and the tone for these models. I'm really looking forward to getting these Grenadiers involved in the Astra Militarum as maybe a veteran unit or something like that. So I think they're going to fit in really nicely there. But they're well protected when you get them. You're going to get this awesome foam. So they're not going to get damaged at all in transit in the thick box with the foam layers. And then here's all the models they've sent out. Now we've got a really nice selection to take a look at. And this first packet is going to have the five male figures, which you'll see built and in closer detail as we go through the video. Then we've got a pair of female Republic Grenadiers. Then this one is, let's have a look. We've got three special characters, a comm specialist. We've also got a medic. And then we've got the sergeant. We've got some torsos, male torsos and female torsos there. A load of helmets as well. So, and heads. So we're going to get 14 different heads. And then also got these legs. Now these are great for the Astra Militarum heavy weapons team. So you can get some extra heavy weapons out of that box. But first up, we've got these shoulder pads to take a look at. And all of the models upper torso. So we've already got one shoulder pad. So these will be the one to go on their other shoulder. So you get a bunch on there to use. And then here you can see we've got the ones from the pack of five male grenadiers. So we've got the upper torsos all formed with the heads and helmets already there and then the lower legs. And they're really easy to put together. You can see they've got the pegs and the holes that slot into place. So a little bit of glue and you're all done. So really quick and easy to get these built. I love the detail on these. When I got the Anvil Industry products for my Catachan army, I was so impressed with all the hats and everything. And these are just uh, on a par. Fantastic quality, great details. You can see here underneath the helmets, you've got the ruffles from their balaclavas they're wearing and the armor's really neat. I love the guns too with the barrels pre-drilled so you don't have to worry about that and the scopes are really nice as well so some really nice details all over these models. Next up we've got the medic and so this is going to be armed with a pistol and he's also got the larger rifle on his back there loads of cool pouches with all different things in there and really nice detail again the faces are brilliant on these models they come out really crisp you can see uh, the face I'll get in a bit closer actually in a second but you can see on the back we've got the rifle there he's just slung that as he's going to be tending to some victims and then up close you can really see the definition on those eyebrows really nicely done the knife the pouches so fantastic here's another one we've got the comms now and so he's looking through the binoculars there got an extra weapon on the side if you wanted to use that but i think these are going to be brilliant as veterans for my astra militarum a great way to put in but if you're playing any skirmish game that's miniature agnostic um, then you can use them and certainly proxy them for games that aren't miniature agnostic. I don't see why you couldn't do that at all. Next up, we've got the sergeant and comes with the pointing finger. Got to have a little rock to stand on there. So a great pose, really iconic. Just what we like to see in our games. And the hair is really nice on this slick back. Nice crisp face. Some pretty good cheekbones going on there. And I love the details down to the fingers even wrapped around the gun. It's so well done. And these are going to be really nice to paint. There's lots of texture in there to take maybe contrast paint, certainly shades and dry brushing. They're going to work really well with these. If you like having a mix of male and female soldiers in your army, then these are going to be great as you've got two female grenadiers here. And so they're going to be slightly slimmer in the upper torso. And uh, yeah, nice to have a different mix. So if you're playing games like Weekend Warriors, where the armor is heavier, lighter or medium armor, these would be good to represent the lighter armor models. So I think they'll work really well in that. 
And just to give you a, a close up look, here's some male and female torsos because you can buy all the separate parts from Anvil Industry and then build them exactly how you want them. And just to show you, there is quite a difference here. So yeah, no, I think actually these would work for light and medium armor and then maybe look to some of the other models for that heavier armor. I think that would be a nice way to go. And then you've got these legs here, kneeling down, which you can incorporate into your grenadiers. I'm gonna be using these for a heavy weapons team because you can get more out of those boxes then and they work nicely. So use those torsos on those legs and you've got some great poses. And some of these heads too. I've got two sprues here, both the same. You get seven on each, five helmets, one with hair slicked back and then one with the eyes exposed with like the goggles up if you like and a mask over the mouth. So really nice and crisp again. That hair's looking great. Some real good definition around the eyes and eyebrow. So really, really good. And then again on the back, you can see the ruffles from the material underneath. Let's get one built so you can see how they go together. And there's a great guide on the Anvil Industry website that gives you the details of how to prepare these. And they say you don't really have to scrub them. So that's really good because that's going to save you some time. But you basically snip them off. I like to use a little blade to just trim away the little parts of the sprue that are remaining. The really good thing is the cleanup is so easy on these. I hardly found anywhere that I had to scrape any mold lines or anything like that. And a little bit of filing can be helpful, especially to give it a little bit of a bite when you add that glue and fix it to the base, especially with one leg. So that works really nicely. Just trim off the little pistol here. Again, use the blade just to scrape along and just pick off that little bit, little bit of filing where you're gonna glue the two pieces together. And then we'll get a base. I'm using a 25 mil base. Again, I'm going Astra Militarum all the way with these. And we're just going to stick one leg on. Now, they recommend using a good quality glue. And I can't agree enough. I love the Loctite Super Glue. This is my favorite one at the moment. Works really well. So we put a little blob there in the socket. And that hand's going to fit in really nicely. And you can move it to face in the direction you like. So there we go. That's, that's a solid bond straight away. And we're good to go now with the feet. So I put a little bit of glue on the feet. Sanding it really helps to get that bond even quicker. I really find that works nicely. And so you can just hold it on with your hands. Or what I like to do is just get my knife and then I'll just use the blade of the knife to press down on the foot. And then what that does is make sure it's dead flat because having my podgy finger in there isn't the best tool. But using the blade like that, I can really get a flat seal. And there we go. That dries really quickly. It's super strong. And now we're ready to add that shoulder pad. So it's all trimmed up, ready to go. They recommend on their website just to do a dry fit so you know exactly where it's going. Add your glue and then pop it in place. And again, with this good quality glue, that's going to set right away. And then I just continue that process on all of the models, trimming them, snipping them off the sprues, getting away all those excess pieces, any lines you come across. I didn't find hardly any at all. A little bit of glue on the feet. And then I put all the legs on first and then I go back and I put the torsos on once those legs have set. And I find that's a really good way to do it. Again, using my knife as a tool as I go. And that's all the Anvil Industry Grenadiers assembled. I'm really happy with these. I think these are going to make a fantastic veteran squad for my Astra Militara. Brilliant poxy models. Makes them a little bit more special than the other ones. And they're really going to stand out on the table. I'm going to be doing another video really soon where I get one of these models painted up to match my Astra Militarum colours. So if you've been following along with my army build and would like to know how I paint them, this is going to be a great time to find out. A huge thanks to Anvil Industry for sponsoring the channel this month and also sending out these great miniatures for me to review and share with you here in the video. These are a great set of models that work really well with their whole regiment line. And I can't wait to add these to my Astra Militarum army alongside some of the other pieces that I got from Anvil Industry a little while ago. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop that up at the end of the video here. And then you can check that out because I've got some different bits for my Katachan units and also some for the different models in the regular Cadians as well. So lots to see there. It'd be great if you go and check out the website and I'll put a link in the description below and then you can go and see the whole range of regiment models that they offer because there's loads there. And if you're into the Astra Militarum, these are perfect proxy models too. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.